Hello Year 6 and welcome to Wednesday's Maths Lesson. Okay, so today we're carrying on looking at data and we are looking at page 40. Okay, so if you look at the top of page 40, you've got a graph similar to the one that you were looking at yesterday. Okay, so really, really similar questions as well. So you've had a little bit of praxis of it and then you're going to have another go at it today. Similar thing. But this time you've got the age of somebody, and um, sort of two girls, Alice and Beth, and their height. Okay, so what height they were at different ages in their lives. Okay, and then it asks you some questions. So for example, this first one said, how tall was Beth when she was 16? So you can see that Beth, if you look closely, is the dotted line and Alice is the straight line. Okay, so this one asks then how tall was Beth when she was at 16? So you need to have a look to age 16, go up to Beth's line, which is the dotted one, and then go across and that will give you the height. Okay, then you've got how, how tall was Alice when she was 11? Okay, so you'll see that you've got 10 here, then a line, then 12. So the line in the middle is 11. And you want Alice this time, so it's the straight line. So you go from 11 up and then across, okay? And you've got to work out here. So you've got 130 there, then a line and 135. So that's halfway. So have a think about what that could be. Because you're going to have 131, 32, 33, 34, 35 in between there, okay? Then you've got at what age were Beth and Alice the same height? So that's where their lines meet, okay? And then you've got to look at the age, so going down. And by how much did Alice grow between the age of 10 and 18? So Alice's line is the dark one. So here she is at 10. That's when she's 130 centimetres. And then how tall she was at 18. And then subtract those two, two numbers to see how much she has grown. And the bottom, you've got another table. And that's the test scores of four classes. You've got to use the table. So the first one is you've got to fill in the total column here. So you'll add up all of the scores across there. Sorry, add up all of the numbers across there. How many? Okay, and it'll give you the total at the end. Okay, so each of these is how many children got those scores and then the total at the end. So that'll tell you how many children are in 3A, 3B, 3C and 3D. Okay, and then you've got some questions here. So what was the most common set of scores in D? So you've got to look for the highest number and how, what score that was. Okay, then in which class did the highest number of children score between 11 and 20? So go to the 11 and, 11 and 20 column, which class did the highest number of children score that? Then how many children in class B scored, scored above 30? So find B and then all the ones above 30, add them together. And then in total, how many children scored 20 or below? So it's all the children here that scored 20 or below. So all the children in this column scored 20, 0 to 10. And all of these children in this column scored 11 to 20. So it's all of those added together. Okay, and then the final question, which is the largest class? Now that should be easy because you've worked out the totals at the beginning. Okay, so it's just this page today, page 40. Okay, I'm reading data again. Any questions, please make sure you email and ask us. Looking forward to seeing your work.